last week few numbers which i talked about in my analysis first was 1680 that beyond 1680 you can expect 1690 levels and in fact till 1700 it can drop any point of time precisely from 1690 levels gold took a good drop and if you recall we did also talked about 1641 that below 1660 one can expect 1641 levels both the targets achieved i hope you all profited now what can be expected next week we will see with the help of chart set indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits do not commit this mistake do like share subscribe and comment remember i do share my daily analysis on gold in fact twice a day i update my predictions on gold first with the asia session next with the us cash session so do watch both the analysis and that is why press the bell icon let's start the now one point to observe that gold was trading in between 1660 to 1680 levels this is on the 4 hour charts and then yesterday it took a breakout and see this is the first red candle and it got the support at 1640 remember first red candle big red candle then a support at 16 feet 40 now either it may try to consolidate here for a little while and then again another drop which might try to take it till towards 1620 1600 levels also those who recall multiple weeks back i talked about 1590 1600 zone for gold i will come back to this why did i say for 1590 1600 now first let's have a look at so see after this breakout this is the first red candle a bit of consolidation even if it tries to rise look at this lower highs and hence here 1660 1670 levels should be good so you should watch out for first 1660 and 1670 on the upside if and only if it trades above 1670 you can consider it for a little bullish move else every rise is a good opportunity to sell gold because see this is the first red candle after a bit of consolidation it may show you another red candle which will be taking it till towards 1620 levels which will be a smaller candle than what we had seen there almost 30 dollars here also we can expect almost 20 dollars so 1620 can be achieved and in fact below those levels are also possible but this is on the 4 hour charts let's have a look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts so on the daily chart look at the gold's movement from 1800 levels at 1800 i told you possibly it is the time when gold is reversing and see how beautiful it has reversed the sharp drop retracement sharp drop retracement drop retracement and then a drop so it is precisely trading within this channel and even if you consider the highs it should be around 1700 level only above 1700 consider it for a little reversal and then this may try to achieve further highs else till the time first thing is next week you should observe 1670 then towards 1690 1700 if these two levels are taken you can consider it as bullish i don't think so this is going to happen why now see yes it has seen the lows there but look after this consolidation this is the first breakout candle and whenever it breaks out the possibility of it to give you a second and third subsequent red candle exist how far it can go yes there is a support at 16 18 16 24 these two levels you should mark out first support at 16 18 24 and below that possibly we may see 16 Zero six and sixteen hundred. Yes, fifty fifteen ninety six hundred sixteen hundred zone is what we are looking forward to. But whether this is going to happen in a week or it will take some time, we will look into this. But yes, why I am saying so? After consolidation, this is the first red candle. See, after consolidation, first red candle and two red candles followed. Here also we can see if it wants to give a. little movement possibly we may see smaller candles else it may give you bigger candles and then it can try to take it till towards 16 18 1600 zone before it tries to bounce back a little now this is on the daily charts let's have a look at the weekly candle now look in last week's analysis i told you after this retracement this is a first pullback candle and it is completely possible and it is highly probable that we may see a second red candle and now a possibly third red candle may follow now look at the size of the candle almost 1675 to 1640 35 dollars and if you take the complete movement here it is almost of 50 dollars move 
and if you look at the previous candle size if you consider the body alone it is almost 1720 to 1675 almost 45 dollars so 45 dollars 35 dollars and this time it can be a little bit diminished because this is going to be the third red candle we may see it trying to trade between 1660 that should be the tail and then starting from 1643 it can try to achieve 16 24 16 18 levels which is a good support in fact it can try to take it further down maybe it can achieve 16 15 16 uh, 12 levels and bounce back and close at around 16 18 16 24 levels so this is what we can probably expect a third red candle a smaller body with a tail and a wick possible that it may try to show you something like this without a week also without a tail is also possible and then from there next to next week you can expect little retracement then it may try to again come back till towards 1660-1700 levels so yes this is what we can expect on the weekly charts now let's have a look at the monthly candle now those who recall i told you here itself first thing we predicted about gold is to form a double top at this point i asked you that it is going to rise so those who follow me regularly since long since more than a year must observe that i had told this rise and i have also told that it has formed double top and now it is looking forward to a drop now look at this the base of this rally was at around 15 1600 now this is the base which it may try to strike if not this week possibly by next week and then if it draws below this this is highly probable that it may try to in fact achieve these levels those who follow me regularly must note down and must have noted this that i had predicted this multiple times multiple weeks before that gold is looking forward to these levels first was 1680 second was 1600 and the third is towards 1450-1500 zone so let's see this is what why i was saying 1590-1600 is an important level for gold if it looks forward to further downwards on the for the next week it appears 1610 1620 zone should provide a very strong support if it continues to trade on the downside now this is only with the help of charts let's have a look with the help of indicate and yes before i provide you the complete analysis and the levels remember if you want to learn this art of identifying the right trades and the right movements of the market you should join the mentorship session the 16th batch is starting on 3rd of october only few seats are left book your seats now this is going to be a 15 day session, 90 minutes live webinars are there and we will be providing you technical support even after the course duration. So you can reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Remember, invest in your learning first, then only you will be able to profit throughout your life. This is the investment which will reap the benefits throughout your life so join the mentorship best definitely the strategy is taught will help you become a profitable trader you can also join my vip signals group on telegram also you just if you want to support the effort here on youtube which i am delivering daily basis please become a patreon a seven dollar contribution per month from your side in fact your newspaper costs more than that so yes, contribute that much for the effort and definitely it will be in motivation more for me. The pattern link is also mentioned in the channel and video description. Now let's have a look at the indicator. See on the indicators, it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands on the 4 hour charts. The resistance zone at 1660, 1665, 70, 75 is strong. This zone it has to surpass for it to trade in a bullish note else till the time it trades below this it can be considered as bearish directional movement on the four hour charts is bearish stock ISTIC is oversold the MACD is bearish here it is divergent and it has still potential for it to increase or maybe it may try to reduce and then again try to increase the width of the bullinger uh, the candles there the height of the candles can increase with the bigger moves the RSI is trading at the bottom but it is not oversold it has still a scope for it to take it further down. Now look at the daily charts here. Remember on the daily charts it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands. What we have seen see this time this was the time when it traded outside the Bollinger Bands possibly it may try to trade again uh, or it may try to take it further down till towards 1630-1620 and bounce back. 
the very first day the similar formation can be seen see whenever it tried to trade outside the bollinger band see there is a pullback see the it traded outside and then there is a pullback and you know what it does whenever it trades outside the bollinger bands it does nothing but increases the width of the bollinger bands for it to sustain the next bearish move that is what is the need of this extreme move so possibly we may see it retracing a little bit or trying to consolidate a little before it to looks forward to a drop there only bullishness here is above 1695-1705 zone this is if it breaks if and only if gold breaks this zone you can consider it for a reversal then you can again expect 1740-50 levels if and only if it trades about 1705 levels can see there is a crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average this is also indicative that the bearishness has increased as the 20 period moving average now is below the 50 period moving average and it is diverging indicating that the near term bearishness is stronger now look at the directional movement this is diverging again bearishness stochastic has seen a little retracement now possibly again it may try to take it towards oversold zone Hence, you can see a little more drop. The MACD is diverging again and it is indicating bearishness. The RSI is again trying to trade into oversold zone. It can sustain oversold zone for a little while before looking forward to a bounce back. Now, look at the weekly charts and the weekly candles. Yes, it is trading at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. The next candle, when it starts, possibly we may see a little rise and also this will uh, limit the movement of gold on the downside hence there is going to be very strong support in between 1600 rather i will say 1590 to 1610 or 1615 levels there is going to be very strong support in this zone so you in fact there is 30 dollars that is 1590 to 1620 it may achieve and that should be a good opportunity for you to buy for a little time frame maybe a week or so till the time it sustains these level possibility of it to bounce back exist now look at the directional movement. This is divergent and this is extremely bearish move. Stochastic entering into oversold zone. The variance is still there. It may try to sustain these levels just like this. We may see a red candle and then a bounce back can be seen next to next week. The MACD is divergent and bearish. RSI entering into oversold zone. And if you look at the monthly candle. Now look at the monthly charts. See the 20 months moving average at 1800 and now it has achieved the 50 months moving average which is the 1640 levels and possibly we may see further lows out there on the down. The 100 and 200 period moving average is lying somewhere between 1400 to 1500. It means last 10 years moving average price for gold was $1400 to $1500. But in your local currency, this may not be the case as gold is still not cheaper. Why? Because the dollar prices are going high and hence gold is not becoming cheaper for the currencies which are not trading in USD. Now look at the crossover here on the monthly charts on gold and the directional movement crossing over almost after 4 years. We talked about this last week that this, there is a possible crossover and it may be continued. The stochastic is entering into oversold zone we talked about this also that this is a rare phenomena when on the monthly chart gold has entered into oversold zone and whenever it is achieved oversold it tries to it has tried to bounce back but see this when it was overbought and it is sustained if it is bearish it can sustain the oversold low levels too the macd is divergent and bearish remember it is still trading above zero levels and see this was the time when it has achieved the peak and now possibility of it to enter into oversold zone exists. Hence, yes, even if it tries to retrace the possibility of it to trade bearish in near next to few months, we can expect a further drop in gold. It is not yet a time to accumulate. Now see. The RSI was trading oversold on the monthly charts and then we have seen a good drop, sharp drop. It is looking vertically downwards. Yes, if it can sustain overbought levels, it can sustain oversold levels too. Till now, if you see the history, this was the time in 99, 1999 when it has gone into oversold zone on the monthly charts. And since then, it has been consistently trading above levels. Possibility exists that we may see it 
dropping in the oversold zone this time so this is what the analysis we have done now let's have a look at this strategy for next first let's have a look at the levels to buy gold here yes you can buy at 1651 but remember 1656 1660 1665 1670 now this levels holds good for daily and weekly basis and i am giving you all the nearby resistances why because yes till the time it trades below these levels there is a possibility for it to drop so you have to be very cautious specifically next week in between these levels these are going to be very strong resistance zone only and only if it trades above 1680 you can again expect 1691 it can form a top or then 1700 1705 very nearby resistances i am giving you here yes there is a possibility for it to drop till here but if it bounces back or rises above 1700 close your shorts you can buy there and you can remain long on gold and then you can expect it to achieve 1730 1755 levels on the upside anything is possible these are markets but what i look forward to is a little bearishness yes a high at around 1665 1670 can be seen next week and from there little drop can be expected or first a drop and then a bounce back can be expected see it ended the week on a bearish note it infers or it implicates that possibly we may see it continuing with the drop in the first two to three days and then a bounce back can be expected later so on the downside yes you can go short at 1639 here Below 1639, I look forward to 1634, 1626, 1618. Then you may see a little resistance at 1615, 16121606, and then 1595-1590 levels remember this is the zone from where bounce back can be expected now this is not a bigger zone 1590 to 1615 only 15 dollar only 25 dollars and within these 25 dollars achieving these levels it can show you a bounce back so yes that is the time at which you can think of buying gold and you can expect that we may see a little retracement but it would be interesting for us to watch out at which point of in the week we see these levels. If you see if this towards the end of the week, then it is good to buy there and possibly next to next week you can see it rising or retracing a little. So take your positions accordingly. Be cautious on the downside of 1618, 1600, 16. 1590 levels possibility of it to bounce back from these levels exist and on the upside be cautious and alert of 16 70 75 levels it can possibly draw from there so take your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do watch the daily analysis do watch be a part of my mentorship badge part of my signals group or become a pattern thank you very much links and uh, ids are mentioned in the channel and video description reach out to me for any of your trading or training query thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you